Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to get started by importing assets into Gatsby, as in we're going to be bringing in images, and it might be a little bit different than you're used to in standard HTML. So let's get going right now. In this video, I'm going to be talking quite a bit about images in Gatsby. Now, images are something that are a little bit funny in Gatsby, and there's a, maybe different ways that you could think about doing it. But the absolute best way to work with images in Gatsby is to import them just like you were used to importing things in JavaScript. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and grab a logo. You will find this logo in uh, the files for this site. However, I'm just going to use the Level Up Tutorials logo. I'm going to move it over here now. Yours will be in the course files if you need it. If not, you can use any sort of logo whatsoever. Now, where am I keeping this logo, which is the Level Up Tutorials logo? If I can get my keyboard to behave. Uh, here it is. You can't see a lot of it because it's on the purple. And well, how do we get this logo to show up in our app? Where do we keep the file? So one thing is you could keep the file into your public folder. You could just drag it into your public folder, throw it into maybe the static folder and access this image, just like you would link to any other image. However, that's not necessarily how we want to do it. What we really want to do is have Webpack, which is the bundler, take care of this image. So we're going to take this image and throw it into our source folder. From inside of our source folder, we can make a, another folder and we can just call this images. And from inside of here, I'm just going to drag drop logo.svg. Now at this point, I can come to my application here and I'm going to head into the index header. So the header file that we had here that just says Gatsby. And instead of saying Gatsby, I'm going to come up top where we can import things. Now, just like any other JavaScript anything, this import path is going to be where this file is located. If we want to find our file that's located inside of images, logo.svg, we're going to import. And then the name of this comes from simply whatever we would like to name this, right? In this case, we're just going to say logo because it's logo.svg from, and then we're going to have dot dot forward slash and that puts us inside of our header folder, our components folder. We can do dot dot forward slash and then find our images. From at this point, we can do forward slash and do logo.svg. Now your autocompleter might not find this logo exactly, but it will actually work if your path is correct. Now at this point, we can do a simple console log and see that it imported our logo path correctly. Let's head to our application here. Let's fire up our inspect element here. I'm gonna head to my console. And you can see in our console, uh, you can see that we do have our image path, which is located now inside of a static folder and logo.number uh, and then .svg. This at least tell, is telling us that, well, Webpack is compiling and making this image available to us. It gives it a path here. And what we can do with this image path is now use it just like any other image source. So I'm going to cut the logo variable. We now have this stored in a variable. I'm going to come down here to my link. And instead of the word Gatsby, I'm going to replace this with an image tag. The image tag is simply just going to have an SRC or a source. And that's going to be now equal to the logo variable that we just imported. Notice how it's not a string here. And then we can just say alt uh, level up logo. And this is a self-closing component, so we do need that forward slash. Okay, let's save this, and we should be able to see our image outputting, and it's loud right here. Ah, wow, that's a big old logo. Um, and this is mostly my fault because the SVG that we're using is giant here, or the one that I am, but it's a nice big logo for this blog. Now, if we wanted to tune this up, we could certainly do that with some different style properties and just, hey, hey, make this this size and this size. But we are going to be getting quite a bit more into style in the upcoming video, in the next video where we talk about using styled components. Now, you do not have to use styled components. You can use SAS, you can use Glamour, you can use any other CSS library of your choosing. But in this series, we will be using styled components because I, I just happen to like them quite a bit, okay? So as you can see here, we now have our image and it's built into our application. We didn't have to worry about paths not lining up. 
We didn't even have to worry about paths at all, except for when we linked to where the image was living here. But now whenever we compile or publish, this file is now going to live inside of public, static, and then the logo. However, right now it's just being built dynamically into the app. And you might be thinking, well, why do I have to do it this way? Well, this way the bundler and everything knows where to find your images. And it's going to reduce the amount of requests that the browser has to make, making your images and your entire app load much quicker. What's amazing about this is Gatsby does some stuff automatically. If your image is less than 10,000 bytes, uh, Gatsby is going to return a data URI instead of a path. And that's for anything, for SVGs, JPEGs, PINGs, GIFs, uh, GIFs, MP4s, uh, WebM, MP3, anything, right? And that's going to save you extra HTTP requests, again, making everything load much faster. So that's one of the reasons why you would want to do this. Okay, so these are using images in Gatsby. If you're importing a lot of stuff like video or anything like that, you're going to want to import it just like this, import it, then use the path that it generates. Okay, so images in Gatsby, you can see are incredibly easy, but maybe a little bit different than you're used to if you're not used to importing things in a JavaScript style import. Okay, so as we continue to grow here, this application is only going to actually start to look nice because right now, obviously, this looks like garbage. But what we're going to be doing here is getting into some CSS stuff. We're going to be getting into styled components and talking a little bit about that. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video, or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. If you'd like to complete this series, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro and you can become a pro subscriber, get access to this series and more. There's an excellent series on modern CSS layouts using CSS Grid as well as Flexbox. So, Head on over to leveluptutorials.com and either check out the store and purchase a series outright or become a pro and get access to everything. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.